show you there that's uh, new to the shack is this uh, Dozy FC 50 frequency counter uh, <coughs> it's a frequency counter that's been around for a while now I guess um, it's basically it can be used from uh, 500 kilohertz to 50 megahertz it has two uh, SO239 connectors on the back one for uh, radio input and antenna output uh, it has blue LED display on it and uh, it's a great little, uh, great little uh, unit, and uh, it's a uh, pretty simple design on the inside. So uh, to show you some what she looks like on the inside, I already got the cover removed to make the video go a little bit quicker. There's not much to this unit at all. Of course, you've got your frequency uh, frequency setup right here. Um, that uh, C13, uh, yeah, you don't want to go messing with that. It's actually sort of uh, toss frequency counter off frequency, believe it or not. But as you can see, this uh, DC input, which you're on and off switch, and you got a few uh, few chips there, IC chips. It does all the calculating and everything else, and then you got a 5 volt regulator over here, 7805. Um, what I do find interesting, you have a, another uh, section here, a spot for another crystal. I don't know if it, uh, if she does, if she could do two crystals, maybe to expand her frequency range, maybe. I'm not sure. But well, it's uh, interesting to say the least. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you can increase the frequency range on this one. As well, you have a uh, another jack right here, and uh, it looks like one that you use, say, in the front of your mobile radio, like Kenwood or something. Uh, Six-pin type of, uh, you know, phone phone type jack, RG45 type of uh, plug. Uh, it's marked ICD-2 uh, Prog HDR, so program header. Maybe there's some way to program program these chips to cover more frequency range than what she set for now, perhaps. Just suggestion. I don't know. It's kind of fun, uh, kind of strange that you'd have another section for uh, for another crystal that you could actually uh, put crystal one, crystal two. So it kind of kind of makes me interested to know if this thing is actually capable of more than just 0.5 to 50 megahertz. I kind of think it could be actually, but who knows for sure. So of course you got your two connectors. Everything is well grounded there, and you have your uh, front LED display board right here. Everything everything solders onto it. So of course blue, everybody likes blue under LEDs. And of course your in and out and your power. So it's a simple, nice little frequency counter. And I got another one to show you there now, very shortly. Um, it's a Paradynamics PDC 256 frequency counter as well. I picked this one up locally for uh, 50 bucks. And I went and fixed that 706 over the weekend, yesterday. And uh, I've got the uh, got the PDC 256 that the SRR meter showed yesterday, plus a marine radio. So for the uh, for fixing up the 706, so that wasn't too bad. Got a bit of a trade on it. No no cash um, changed hands on it. And uh, so there we go. Oh yes, and you also set for low power as well as high power. So. Kind of makes me wonder if this thing can do anything other than what it's designed for, which I'm thinking it could be. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video on the Paradynamics PDC-256. 
Okay, guys, bye, 7 or 8.